When the suspect returned to the apartment, he had replaced the standard magazine in his handgun with a 50 round drum magazine seen in his hand here. As the female victim moved away from the apartment, the suspect emerged and opened fire on the female victim, executing her in front of the deputies. As the suspect emerged and began firing, all three deputies on scene fired their weapons at the male suspect immediately, attempting to stop him from killing the female victim. The suspect was struck by the deputy's gunfire. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again. Hit you with a video. Now, this video right here comes out of Carmichael, California. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of California, everybody in Carmichael, everybody all over California, if you will, and all my people in Los Angeles also. And I want to thank all the people, the family, and also the Trey King Show subscribers who send me this video. And uh, I just want to send my condolences out first to the Brown family because it's very sad what happened to their beautiful daughter. And it just shows you that, you know, it's a right and a wrong way to love somebody. You know, just because somebody professed to love you does not mean that person loves you. And this story kind of reminds me of the situation that happened out of Shreveport, Louisiana, with the uh, Renita Williams, uh, Nunu, and also Jonathan Robinson, Tough Face Johnson situation last year. Only difference was that was on Facebook Live. This was pretty much uh, a live execution in front of the police, whereas you had Miss Chanel Brown, who was only 23 years old, and also her boyfriend, Ernest Easterling, 25 years old, with a name like Ernest Easterling. You better be careful. But anyway, now you would think, what in the hell and why in the hell would a 25-year-old proceed to act like this when it was Miss Chanel Brown, first boyfriend? This is just not me speculating. We speak number one. Yes, fat, fat facts. That's it. Her family said it, all that. So she didn't know anything about trying to love somebody or whatnot. Cause she was just learning to love herself, if you will. But they had got together, moved away. Now, from what I heard, Ernest was also in the military. I don't know what, uh, you know, what section of the military he was in, what rank he was in, or whatnot. Was he Marine? Was he Navy, Air Force, or whatnot? But the gun that he used to murder Miss Chanel Brown in front of the police with uh, was his. Registered gun. It was a legal gun. It wasn't like he stole the gun. But uh, the sad thing is what he did with that gun. Now, they had moved away, 
and evidently it was problems still arising or whatnot. So what happened on this certain night, October the 27th, uh, Miss Chanel Brown, she happened to be over somebody's house, a friend house. I don't know if she was outside her home, but the neighbors had heard the commotion and everything else because Ernest came over there and it was a whole argument, started a whole fight, and she called the police. So he basically took it upon himself from what I have gathered and from what the news sources say that he was just going to in her life right then and there. I guess he was saying over, she, she tore up a car or she may have broke this or broke that on a car. I don't know what was that about, but a car shouldn't have you trying to kill nobody. But anyway, when the deputies arrived, well, before the deputies arrived, she was basically pleading with Ernest and everything. And she told the neighbors to close and lock their door. I guess she knew this bastard was crazy. But anyway, when the deputies arrived, uh, they was giving Chanel orders to come to them like most of the time they do. So while she's walking to them, he follows behind her, as you all can see on the clip. But you have to click uh, the link below to find that because you can't show nobody getting murdered. If you do, you're crazy. They're going to shut you down. But anyway, when I, while she's coming to the deputies, following their orders, he runs behind her, as you will see when you click, uh, click the link below. He runs behind her and guns her down, ultimately killing her. You hear a woman scream, and then they ultimately kill her. Ernest Easterling. Now, that's a sad situation. And you would think all this over some people thinking that uh, you can play with love or you can play with people's feelings. Not saying that Chanel would do anything, but, you know, some people do not need to get in relationships. And some people, you know, still trying to figure relationships out. So for this to be Chanel's first relationship and this guy, Ernest, I don't know if that was his second or third or whatnot, but for him to act that way, something is terribly wrong. And, you know, for him to be that bold and just pop up like that, I don't know if her uncles was around. I don't know if her brothers was around. I don't know if she had any male figures around, but he had to be pretty bold to do that because certain families, you would have to take every male out in the family because they're not going to let you do their sister, their cousin like that. And if you tried, you're pretty crazy if you ask me. I'm going to read a snippet from this story and I'm going to give my opinion. All of it. Surely as we go. Horrifying moment. Woman, 23 years old, just 23, desperately warns her neighbors to lock their doors before her boyfriend, 25, shoots her dead in front of the police. That's a sad situation. This young, beautiful lady could have grown up to be anything, taken out by a no-good bastard who pretty much didn't know how to love himself, first of all, because if you love yourself, you're not going to do anything to hurt yourself and also somebody else that you profess to love. But anyway... Sacramento police say Chanel Brown, 23, was executed in front of officers by Ernest Easterling, 25 years old, just 25, on October 27th. He was then shot dead by police. Distressing home security footage shows the moment the killer turned his gun on his girlfriend after she pleaded with him to stop as he threatens to blast her. Now, ain't, ain't that crazy right there? You threaten to blast her like you and some Call of Duty game some uh, video game or something. No, this is real life situation. You know what we're dealing with here. This is not no, you can't come back. You, this is no Nintendo game. You only get one chance at life. You can't kill somebody, kill yourself, and then start over like Grand Theft Auto. No, once you're gone, you're gone. I don't know if these if these uh <clears throat> younger adults think that uh you can put another coin in the machine and then you get another life. It don't work that way. Once your life is gone, you know, you're not coming back until the next lifetime, whatever that may be. But anyway, Chanel begs neighbors to lock their doors in the footage as Easterling hits her. And you can see him clearly hitting her. Just click the link below where you can see the whole thing because I don't want to get in trouble showing all that. But it's just sad that moments before she died, he's ultimately hitting her, punching on her and everything. And then when she tries to get away, because this didn't even have, this didn't even have to escalate into that. But it's sad that it took all this for Miss Chanel just to see that this dude was really crazy. Some people just really crazy like that. And no, you're not going to always see if they're crazy at first. You feel me? Some people are good at hiding how crazy they are, who they really are sometimes. But the truth always come out. Veronica Brown, the victim's grieving mom, called her daughter an angel. She saved lives. The night she died, she saved lives, Veronica said, because if the neighbors came out there or whatever, they, he probably, most likely, because he came to kill her, then the police killed him. He probably would have killed the neighbors too or shot them up also. But still though, you know, that'd be hard if there was my sister cousin out there. You know what I'm saying? We just going to have to shoot it out, I guess. But anyway, now, Chanel is seen walking toward police with her arms in the air. Basically, what I told you all from the beginning, she was walking toward the police with the arms in the air, complying with them. And then Easterling closely follows with his gun, which he has now fitted with a higher capacity magazine. They said he had like a 50 round clip. I don't know what the hell 
he thought he was finna do. I don't know if he thought he was in a video game, Aliens vs. Predator. I don't know. But Chanel goes out of sight and Isaline raises his gun, ultimately killing Chanel. That's when you heard the gunshots, and that's when you heard the screaming. And ultimately, that's when you see Ernest Isaline get shot up too also. Now, California police say Chanel Brown, 23, was executed in front of officers by Ernest Easterling, 25, on October the 27th. He was then shot dead by Sacramento County cops. I mean, if you had that much hell in you, why not just go shoot out with the police? Why take somebody else with you? That's what the hell I don't understand. You know, and I don't care what kind of childhood somebody has. Just like the next story I'm about to do out of, out of uh, I think that's Baltimore, Maryland, uh, where another deranged bastard that done did some horrible things, uh, horrible things in uh, trying to plead like he had such a rough childhood. A lot of people had rough childhood in that. A lot of people sleeping on the bridges and they ain't going murdering nobody. And some of you all sleeping in houses, driving Mercedes and BMWs and mad as hell. Now, distress in home security footage shows the moment the killer turns his gun on his girlfriend. Goes to show you how much they love you, huh? After she pleaded with him to stop as he threatens to blast her. Just like the same situation with uh, Jonathan Robinson with uh, Renita Williams. No matter who want to point the finger and say Renita was wrong, even though we know Jonathan was wrong because Jonathan the one had the gun. Jonathan was the one married. Jonathan was the one cheating. Not to change the subject, but just to make the point. Even when she was pleading with her life, he still took it upon himself, even though he was in the wrong, to kill her and spend his life in prison. Just like Ernest Isterling took it upon himself to kill this woman, and he wasn't even married, just because evidently she wanted to break up with him. She's seen how crazy he really was. Now, Chanel begs her neighbors to lock their doors in the horror footage as Easterling hits her. He appears to accuse her of calling the police, adding, I didn't do shit. You damn right I'm going to call the police because I'm tired of you. What, what's she supposed to do? Just sit there and keep taking this shit? That's what I don't understand right there. That's, that's why I said you got to put your foot down from the door. You got to lay the law down, as we say. From the moment you be together, like, look, this is what it's going to be. You don't hit me. I'm not going to ever hit you. But if you do, if you do, I'm going to leave you. And if you ever try to threaten my life, you got to go. You feel what I'm saying? But make sure people know. Make sure you file police reports and everything else. Get away from the person because some people will still try to track you down years later and do something to you. You have crazy people like that. You know if you have people that you don't even know stalking you and uh fucking with you, doing all kinds of things. Imagine what you have to deal with if you had somebody that you laid with and all of a sudden you don't want to deal with them no more, then you're going to see how crazy and revengeful and vindictive this person really is. Some people are just bitter like a lemon. You feel me? But anyway, now, the victim's grieving mom, Veronica Brown, and my condolences goes out to you, Miss Veronica Brown, to you and the whole Brown family because it's very sad. This beautiful young lady chose this guy right here because, you know, not saying that you can see that he's really crazy, but it's still sad that she chose this guy, her first relationship and this is what happened this should be a lesson to all of you all out here trying to jump in relationships no you gotta test the waters a little bit don't just up and move out your home and everything move away with somebody you know what i'm saying get time to really know a person because you're never really gonna know a person uh until they really want you to see all of them some people are good at hiding you feel me? that's why you must be patient be anxious for nothing as they say but anyway now the victim's grieving mom veronica brown said thursday my baby was really was a really good person. Everything about her was an angel. She helped you. She saved lives the night she died. She saved lives. She saved other people. She sacrificed her own life. That's what really happened. She sacrificed herself because she did tell them to close the door. Because I don't know if the neighbor was going to come out there and help them or whatnot. But she is pretty brave for that. Because somebody was like, help, help, help me. I probably would have been out there screaming, help me and everything. Y'all call me what you want to call me. I don't give a damn. You don't know what you're going to do with a gun in your face. Period. But anyway, now the video begins with Easterling kicking a door while shouting at Chanel and holding a gun following a car crash. You feel me? Now that's the car crash I was talking about in the beginning of the video where he said she messed up his car. But how? And why would you come knock on somebody's door with a gun? You feel me? And this is supposed to be your girlfriend. So evidently you don't lost your goddamn mind, what we call it. Now, the clip continues as Easterling paces around with Chanel sitting on the floor. At one point, he hits her. He also tells her, when they come, I'm blasting you. And that's when you need big bro or you need that crazy ass uncle who just got out of Sing Sing or San Quentin somewhere to be right there. You feel me? You need somebody there who's going to hold it down because evidently, you know what I'm saying, people would do anything where there ain't no consequences. You feel what I'm saying? Not saying that he wouldn't have still done it, but yet still he would have thought twice. You feel what I'm saying? 
And most likely, most likely, Chanel would have at least been alive because somebody would have shot the shit out of him. I'm sorry, but if you come to my house and you want to do something, I'm sure you all feel the same way. If somebody come to your house and they want to harm somebody, kill somebody in your family, you're going to sit there and let them? I don't think so. But anyway, moments later, Chanel is seen walking toward police with her arms in the air, had her arms in the air, basically complying with them. And you can imagine how this young lady was feeling. Imagine the terror that she was going through, knowing that she got... Three guns pointed in front of her because you know what the police been doing to people. But then got this crazy ass boyfriend of hers behind her with another gun. Imagine how she felt. You got guns drawn on you from all angles. But anyway, now she is seen walking toward the police with her arms in the air. Easterling closely follows with his gun with his crazy ass. And they should have had a sharpshooter right then just to take his ass out right then. That's why you need a sharpshooter. Don't just come out there with three uh, gum shoes. Gum shoes is what they call rookie cops. But anyway, don't come out there with... Uh, with just three cops. No, bring a sharpshooter. Bring a sniper out here. Because this bastard is crazy. But anyway, now he closely follows Chanel with the gun behind her. Which he has now fitted with a higher capacity magazine. What you need more bullets for? You feel what I'm saying? What you need more bullets for? And, and instead of you instead of you taking them down bullets shooting Chanel, you should have taken them and shoved it right up your butt and shot your own damn self. That's what I'm trying to say. If you so mad and you want to end your life. In your own damn life. Don't end my damn life. You have some people so miserable, don't you know, that they will kill you just because they're unhappy with them damn self. Ain't that some shit? You feel what I'm saying? You have some people so miserable, let me say it again, that they will kill you. You may be happy as hell. You know what I'm saying? You may be happy as a fly on a pile of shit. You feel me? But they will kill you just because you're happy with your life and they miserable as hell. Anyway, now, Chanel's goes out of sight and Easterly raises his gun. And it's a sad situation. A series of shots are fired, killing Chanel right in front of the police. And a woman can be heard screaming. Off camera, Eastling was shot dead by three deputies. They lit his ass up like a Christmas tree. They lit him up. But in a way, it's a sad situation because what in the hell is wrong with these people to make them think that you have the power or the audacity to go to somebody's house, kick the door over a minor car accident? You feel what I'm saying? A car can be fixed. Bullet holes in your head and your chest and your heart and lungs, that can't be fixed. And if it does, you, you're going to be paralyzed. You feel me? So what I'm saying? The shit is not worth it. You feel what I'm saying? So I think that we all should thank ourselves for making it past some of these stages because a lot of us dealt with crazy people in our past. past. I done had guns pulled on me in my past before. But, you know, it's a good thing to be able to grow from that and be able to talk to you all today and let you all know some of these certain things. Not saying that I was perfect in a relationship, but my intention was never to hurt nobody. You feel me? I'd rather break up with you and go on by my damn business because I love my life too much to be trying to hurt any damn body, even though they try to hurt me. But anyway, let's go and finish up. Now, Sergeant Tess Detterling said, the suspect is seen pulling the victim, his girlfriend, towards an apartment, kicking an apartment door, and physically assaulting the female victim while holding a gun in his left hand. What they do this at? You think you're in the wild, wild west? You must, you must forget what, what day we live in. They don't give a damn about killing you and you're going to do this? Oh my God, but it's sad to take somebody else with you. That's what I'm saying. What did Chanel do that bad to make you want to go to this girl wherever she was at, kick the damn dough in, assault her, and then ultimately kill her, then ultimately you get yourself killed. What the hell is up with that? But anyway, I'm going to leave the rest up. I don't want to make this video too long in the link below so you can check it out. Just click that description below. You can see the whole video. And it's a very sad situation. But I got to warn you that the video is very graphic. Let me know what you all think about this uh, story because it's a sad situation that this woman, this young lady, first relationship, and it goes haywire like this. You see what I'm saying? But this is a sign for all of you all. If somebody trying to get you to move away and isolate you, number one, don't let nobody isolate you from your family. You feel me? If you have somebody telling you you don't need your family and more bad things about your family and they don't even know your damn family, and even if they do know your family, you got to still wonder to yourself, why are you so hell bent on me getting away from my family? That means they're trying to get you off to themselves. Sometimes it may be for the better if your family causes a problem, but most of the time it's because they got hidden agendas. They got ulterior motives, if you ask me. So be careful who you decide to let come into your life. Because things can go just like this if you're not careful. Let me know what you think. And to the Brown family, I send my condolences out to all of you all. And to the Trey King Show family, thank you for sending the, this video in. And keep sending the rest of those video in. Like I said, I'm still getting over my sickness. Uh, 
little touch of the flu. That's what they say down south. Every time you get a cold, it's a touch of the flu. I'm still getting over that. But uh, in the meantime, we're still going to keep that work in. And let me know what you all think. And also, also, let me remind you all of this right here. Love does not supposed to hurt. Remember this. Love does not supposed to hurt. If somebody professing to love you and you are getting hurt by them all the time, that's not love. That's not love. That's hate. Anyway, you all have a blessed day. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, you all stay blessed. Have a great weekend and have a great Thanksgiving. This upcoming Thanksgiving. If you're not celebrating Thanksgiving, still call somebody in your family and tell them you love them. Anyway, y'all take care. I'm out.